How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you might be. And we're going to be doing a pretty cool video idea today that was suggested to us by a viewer who commented in one of my videos. He said, Rohan NR, by the way, is the one who said the comment, please do a strikeout video with all three bow crossover skins. Now, that's an interesting comment. I've actually don't remember anybody ever asking me to play three crossover skins on one legend. Part of the reason might be because I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's only two legends in Brawlhalla that have three crossover skins. Now, a crossover skin is a skin that is from another game or show or universe, basically. So... We have Val, who has Stevani from Steven Universe. She has Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And we also have Akuma for Val from Street Fighter. So Val has those three epic crossovers. She has a lot of other cool, really cool skins, but those are the only crossover ones. So we also have Wushan, who has three epic crossovers. Poe, Chun-Li, and Reino, Wushong, are both, or I mean, they're all three epic crossovers. So Reino is from a game called Rivals of Aether. I don't know why Reino doesn't get his own icon down here because it's definitely a crossover. Kind of kind of mean to Reino, but uh, there's no other legends that I know of that have three cro epic crossovers. Um, there's quite a few that have two though. Anyways, so if you'd like me to do another video, all three Wushong's epic crossovers, let me know. Now, here's the issue. You can't pick the, th the same legend three times in Strikeout. Even if you're using different skins or like epic crossovers or whatever, it's still the same legend. So you can't pick three of the same legends. So we cannot do Strikeout, but we can do regular 1v1. So that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, let's go ahead and start it out with Stevani. Well, we'll do the epic crossovers in the order in which they were released. So, Stevani was the first epic crossover for Val, and then the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one, and then uh, Akuma. All right, we're going against a diamond right off the bat, going against... I don't even know how to say that name. It looks like Phantom, but with a bunch of other letters, so we'll just call him Phantom. Playing as a Scarlet. Scarlet, Airship Scarlet too. I love that skin. So this epic crossover that I have, it's actually really cool because some of the SIGs have like both of my people come out. It's it's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Bro, the lance is pretty good. I'm over there. Now I'm over here. No, what's happening? My screen. So ever since I upgraded to Windows 11, I don't know what's going on with my uh, screens, but they tend to do a lot of flashing. Woo. And it actually shows up in the recordings, which is weird. If anybody knows why my screen be flashing like that, let me know. So, Stevani has that side sig where you don't really know, like, which direction she's facing because both of the people come out. <laughs> but, yeah. Some people think that the, uh, the crossovers are kind of, like, cheap because of that. Don't be getting lazy with your SIG, Scarlet. How did she miss that mine? My goodness, that was like some ninja. Ooh, my goodness. Ooh, nice side heavy. Ooh, she, she couldn't hit me with the hammer, but... Just use her fists and that, that didn't take long at all. Oh, dude! 
No! Windows, stop flashing my screen, please. I would really appreciate it. I don't know why Windows be doing that. It, it doesn't even happen that much when I'm not recording. Like, it does still happen, though. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's doing it so much now. I apologize for the flashing screen. I will try to get that fixed. All right, Scarlet, we've had enough of that hammer. Hold that. Nope. Oh my, that was scary. No! No! Oh. Oh, the reverse. Scarlet, you have one more hit. There it is. GG, GG. And that was Stevani. Let me know if you really like Stevani or if you like the other crossover skins. We're about to see. Let's go to the next one, Michelangelo. Now, Michelangelo was added with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, yeah, Val gets another crossover. So which color should we do? Um, blue actually looks really good, like just regular blue. I know I have a lot of other, the like, special colors, but <laughs> sometimes, like, the basic colors look really good. All right, I'll do random, and we'll let fate decide. Okay, I guess we're going pink. Not, not the uh, choice I would have picked, but there you go. Pink Michelangelo. At least it might confuse them on, like, who I am at first, because they don't even know. Like, there's no pink turtle. Who's the pink turtle? We don't even know what legend you are. And that's kind of the thing with crossovers, like... Even though skins in Brawlhalla don't actually give you, like, any real advantage as far as, like, more strength or better moves or anything like that. They're literally just cosmetic only. However, some epic crossovers do give you an advantage because, like, like I said, they might not even know which legend you are until you start doing signatures or they see your weapons. And then, like, it's easy to forget. Especially with these legends like the turtles. Like, you just... There's so many... There's four turtles! Which one is, which one is which? Oh right, I need to start spacing much better on this uh, orb. My goodness, I haven't even touched her yet. Maybe the uh, gauntlets isn't the choice. Oh yeah, we got the sword now. We got a little bit of a hole to climb out of, but I'm scared of a little bit of work. Oh, she could have killed me with a neutral sig. Oh, now she's throwing out the sigs. Woo, I got up here, feels good. Oh, 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 I didn't even get a hit in for like a minute and then we still got first stock, so. <laughs> get red. That bob throw. Oh. Oh, the jump. Oh my, oh my, that, yep. Nice down air on the, on the orb. Her orb is actually really good. We haven't we haven't really seen the scythe. If her scythe oh, she don't okay. I thought she was gonna throw away the scythe for the orb, which is something I've never seen really before, but no, nah, she she was happy to have the scythe. Okay, I didn't get the weapon, but get out of here, fate. Boom! Don't be chasing for that down air. I got a big uppercut coming your way. Is she AFK? Oh, I, my bad. I didn't know why she was taunting. Oh. Dead. 
Yep. Even if she gets back, we're doing massive amounts of damage there. Oh, again, she could. If she just did neutral sig sometimes, she would just... There it is. Oh. I feel like I hit her the most with just recovery. Recovery, recovery. Boom! I've been wanting to hit her with the side sig all game. GG, King. Well played. Pink Turtle Power. All right, guys, we're on our last Val Epic crossover. This one is for Akuma. Not gonna lie, the pink looks better on Akuma than did on Michelangelo, just my opinion, but we're gonna go random color again for Akuma. Oh, red, okay, all right. I mean, I guess I could do that. Uh, the gauntlets are kinda boring and so is the sword, but we're gonna leave them as they are because I wanna stay true to the crossover. All right, let's do, let's do Twilly. I like Twilly, Twilly's cute. All right, here we go. So Akuma has some of the coolest looking signature graphics. I gotta say like, you'll, you, I'll, I'll show you. I mean, so does Stevani, so does uh, Michelangelo. Like they all have cool signature graphics that are super unique and whatever, but look at Akuma. Like look at how the, the charge up just looks so cool. Gosh, Isaiah is my nemesis, like for real. Oh, look at the side sig when I charge. Doesn't that look so cool? I had no reason to charge it there, but I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, <laughs> Isaiah. <laughs> you gotta watch out for my neutral sig, man. It's kind of a broken move. Oh my goodness. Isaiah the blaster sigs are awesome, I gotta say. Oh yeah, you got hit by that crocky right in your helmet. Good thing you're wearing protection. Get hit by that side sig. Again. Oh my goodness. When he did the down light on blasters, I thought for sure he was going to do recovery, but he did a side air. And let me live, basically. Gosh, I love these signatures. They look so cool. Hold that. Thank you. That would have been epic. No! <laughs> oh, man. I thought if I ground pound him when he's standing on the platform, he would get sent straight down, and he literally just turned that right around. He don't know where we're going. Look at these side sigs are just... Hold that, thank you. And that? No, oh. All right, let me get these gauntlets, boom. He's pretty good with the blasters. Oh, I'm on final stock. Oh, I should probably be careful here, huh? What? Oh, that should have killed. Bye-bye, GG, Neutral Sig OP. Gotta love the Val Neutral Sig on Gauntlets. Well played? Okay, never mind, whatever. All right, guys, so that was it uh, for the Val Triple Crossover video. Let me know if you want me to do one on Bouchong because honestly, he's the only other legend that has three epic crossovers. 
And uh, yeah, I'm all, I'm all, I mean, I'm all, I'm always open to play any legend in Brawlhalla. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content as I'm always putting it out there. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.